Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Referral Candy app and whether or not you should be using it on your Shopify store. So Referral Candy leverages off of a concept called affiliate marketing, which has been around for a long time and it's always been a very successful way for brands and e-commerce stores to kind of generate more leads and more customers, more sales. Referral Candy has a unique take on this and a unique position in the market. You've probably heard before that one of the best ways to launch a Shopify store is through influencer marketing. But taking that much time to kind of reach out to individual influencers and then pay a large upfront cost without knowing what return you're gonna get on that can be you know, kind of a guessing game. It can be a lot of work and it can be very stressful. So the reason why I like Referral Candy is that you are creating your own affiliate program. You're not paying out anything upfront to these affiliates. You're really just paying out if they make a sale and you can choose whether or not you wanna give them a discount on your products or if you wanna pay them a cash bonus. So it kind of takes a lot of that stress out of finding influencers and it makes it easier to tap into influencers that you might not have considered before. Because if you can find a way to market your affiliate program from Referral Candy, then those influencers can start doing the work for you. And whether they're big or small influencers, it doesn't really matter because you don't have to pay out anything until they generate a sale through your link. So let's go ahead and hop into the computer and take a closer look at the Referral Candy app all right, so before we dive into the app, let's go ahead and take a look at pricing. And I'm gonna drop a link to this page down in the description. So you can go ahead and check it out down there if you wanna kinda get some more info on Referral Candy. And so it starts out at $49 for a monthly base fee. They do have a 30 day free trial program that you can cancel at any time. But one of the things to consider before you get started here is to really do a ton of research on Referral Candy and the other alternatives. Uh, because when you start collecting referral information, you're really going to want to keep going with that referral program because you already have people you know, in your dashboard that you're tracking and it's not going to be easy at all to transfer those contacts. So once you find something, you're really going to want to stick with it. All right, with that said, the $49 a month base fee uh, is unlimited features for everyone, which is cool because a lot of other affiliate programs have all these step up tiers with different features and you really just get access to all of them with Referral Candy, which is great, transparent and just easy to jump into. I do love that they have fraud protection because that's one of the biggest concerns for me is if I'm paying someone money to refer my products and they're uh, you know, fraudulent charges, then I'm losing a ton on those sales. So it's nice to know that that's built in and that they have good support set up. Um, you know, everything uh, that they have set up for you is pretty cool. I do like, you know, that you can track the rewards within the system. That's very important for me. Uh, and it is cool that they have different incentives. Uh, you know, personally, I kind of like the thought of using cash via PayPal just because as someone, you know, myself who has done affiliate marketing, I don't necessarily want a promo code, especially if it's like a one product store. You know, I wanna buy a product. I don't have any need to buy a ton of uh, recurring products. So there's no incentive for me to refer, you know, 10, 20, 30 friends if all I'm getting is a 20% discount. I'd rather have that cash via PayPal. And that's really a way to attract the bigger affiliates, which is cool. It's cool that they have that built in, uh, but you get to choose between the two of them and do whatever works best for you. Um, and you know, the email support is great. Other types of support, uh, there's really a lot built in here. And you know, one other uh, thing that's important is that on top of the $49 fee, there is actually a commission that you're paying to Referral Candy on top of that, uh, you know, which is kind of a drag, but uh, that is scaling. So you're paying 5% on the first thousand dollars in sales, and then it decreases as you sell more. And there is a cap out, so you're not gonna end up paying over a thousand dollars to referral candy every month and you know think about it this way uh that's sounds like a lot of money but if you're paying a thousand dollars to them uh that's five percent of your total sales so you're making something like twenty thousand plus in sales so you're doing pretty well if you're paying that amount so we are now inside of my referral candy dashboard where i can do everything from tracking referrals and getting referral reports to actually setting up my referral program through referral candy. So as we scroll down here in the stats and overview page, uh, you can see you know everything that's been shared through social media and what type of customers have been invited through the referral program. We can also pull up a referral report that gets very specific about the details from you know the number of emails to sent out to what the conversion rates are and who within the program has made what number of referrals. It really gets 
very specific and I love having this kind of information right at my fingertips. But let's go ahead and look at the editing of the referral program so that you guys can see how to set up your referral program through referral candy. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to look at is what type of rewards you wanna give out. So you can choose from whether you wanna give out a discount or promo code type of reward, or if you wanna just pay out cash to your affiliates. And I've seen some uh, products do really well with the promo code and discount code option. If you have a product that people really love and they want more of, then giving them discount codes is definitely incentive for them to share with their friends. Uh, you know, But let's say you just wanna attract affiliates that are you know purely uh, just going to push out a lot of referrals uh, then those type of people might be incentivized highly more highly by cash so it's it's good to have both of these options in here and you can kind of tailor that depending on how you want to run your program and so you can also set up uh, your emails that you send out uh, through referral candy and get them very tailored to how you want them to look i actually just really like their simple theme and it works well enough in my opinion that you can just go ahead and use that and uh, you know it looks clean it tells you exactly what you need to do nothing too crazy there uh, but one thing that we do want to look at here is the social media messages as well uh, because this is really cool this is where you can do a lot of damage with referral candy because social media is such a great way to refer people and it's great that you know your referral links already uh, are populated to look very clean on Twitter and Facebook so that if you know if your referral if your affiliates are using those channels, you're guaranteed to have a pretty good return on those links that are sent out because they just do look really professional. They're gonna they're gonna do well. Uh, and the last thing that I want to check out is the widgets here because uh, when you're setting up a referral program, one of the big things is how are you finding affiliates? How are you finding influencers that want to sell your products? Well, you know you can go out on your own and try and find these people. You can reach out to them through social media. Uh, but a great way to do it is just to find people that are already customers, already buying, and see, you know, if you sell a good product, there's a good chance that they will want to refer their friends to that, pro to that product. Uh, but sometimes that little extra incentive really helps them to refer more friends. So having a post-purchase pop-up is really a good move here because it finds the people that you know are your customers. They're not just people that are only in it for the money, and they're the most likely to give you, you know, real good solid referrals through the program. So that's everything that I'm gonna to cover today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below for tons of great Shopify tips and other e-commerce updates. And you know, also make sure to hit that like button and show me some love.